I've heard you have been to um, Khorasan and Kurdistan. Why did you choose um, in particular those regions? Because, uh, you know, I, I, I was born in a Kurdish family. My parents are Kurdish, so um, I, I learned a lot of what they, they knew about music, the Kurdish music, in my household. And very natural as a child. So uh, the other region that I really loved the music was Khorasan. The one that you cannot pronounce. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I tried to, you know, travel there to see the musicians, ask them about the principles of the music, how the music works, the instruments. And uh, it is very important to, um, to know every region within your musical culture. Um, of course, you cannot really learn uh, the music deeply uh, because Again, you're not from that tradition, you do, you do not live there, you were not born there, but you could learn um, some of it, you could learn about it and see if, you know, that, that culture, what that culture has to offer. So I, I have done that, but of course, you know, my knowledge is like uh, anybody, you know, a foreigner's knowledge, you know, going there, um, stay there for, for a short time and learn. So, not more than that. So, is there a huge difference between the Persian and the Kurdish music? Not really. Uh, you know, um, within a country, you have different people, you know, and different traditions. So, uh, they are different, but in the same time, they're not that different because they're in the same geographical um, zone, you know, in a certain part of the world. So, um, the, the, a lot of times there are similarities um, in Kurdish music and, tr and, and Persian traditional music, and um, sometimes they're different. But how the traditional music came about in, in any country, you know, how the traditions formed was that, you know, that there were smaller pockets of cultures, you know, folklore cult cultures that uh, they at, at some point, they come together in, in, in bigger cities, you know, and musicians come from all around that region, you know, to the bigger cities, and they form another musical entity. Usually, whatever uh, classical music system we have, is, it's, uh, it's, it's made that way. You know, it's made from smaller um, units of different uh, cultural, uh, musical cultures, around that region. So, you know, Kurdish culture, it is very important, you know, Khorasan culture as well, you know, other cultures that, musical cultures that exist in Iran, and they, they all come to the center at some time and they form traditional music. So there is no traditional music without folk music and vice versa. So, uh, but certainly folk music is always in every part of the world, in every musical culture is the, the you know, grandfather or the forefathers of uh, classical music. You left Iran after um, the Islamic Revolution in 79. Um, why was it so hard for artists, for musicians to live in Iran during that time? Revolution is revolution. Everything is, you know, changes. There is chaos, you know. There are a lot of things to be solved. There are a lot of things to take place, you know, to, to, to uh, be made. Um, so um, there is chaos and confusion. So, um, you know, I, I just wanted to pursue what I was doing as, as, as a, a teenager, as a young adolescent, uh, and, and, and wanted to study music. At that time, it wasn't possible, and, and I just, uh, you know, exited Iran as a, as a you know, as a young person uh, in search of you know, uh, what I thought it would be the center of my life. We are a nation uh, that have an extremely, extremely young population. If you have studied the population of Iran, uh, we have, <clears throat> if I'm not wrong, we have 65% uh, uh, under 25. 
and 85% under 35. And that's very young. And um, a lot of that, um, that part of populate, population were born after the revolution. And uh, the, they, they don't know what happened then. And their fathers, you know, their parents committed the revolution. And they just, you know, ended up to, to be born in that time. Uh, so um, a lot of things that uh, are offered here right now, politically, socially, morally, are not accepted by them. Although these kids were born in this situation, but of course they're, they're very open-minded, you know, they're highly educated, they know, um, you know, computers, uh, they know other sciences, they, 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 they have access to internet. So the world has become a very, very small place. You cannot really keep people um, isolated from each other. So uh, we have this young layer of society that is very, very um, eager to, to, to make change. And, and sooner or later it, it happens, you know, it, 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 it's no system or no person can contain that because they, they have needs and if those needs are not met, so you know the, 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 any government is not, is going to be in trouble because this is a huge population and um, they're going to get what they want. Yeah. So let's close it with one last question. What do you want to tell people with your music? Have you uh, ever seen a really really beautiful movie that uh, you know you have, you have you know? And then what is, what is your reaction after you, you see it? I'm overwhelmed, I don't know. Yeah, and then you call your best friend. And I need to talk about it. Yeah, and then you have to tell them. And you want to take them to see that film with you. Yes. You know, so it's, it's all about sharing. You know, human society is all, all about sharing. It's been like that from, the, from day one, when I don't know when, it, when that is actually. Uh, but uh, it's, a, it's all about connections, humans, and sharing. So when you have something in your mind, when you have something to offer to others in, in, in arts, in science, in, in any forms, you know, you, you, you want to share it. You were um, social um, animals and live together and want to share. So one of, it, uh, one of, the, one of the things that I really like to do is, is about sharing. You know, I, I want to tell you about what I feel when I play that music and what that musical culture that I come from has to offer to you. You know, as a musician, I have studied Western classical music and I have learned about your culture. You know, I know the composers, I know the pieces, you know, all these things. And I play with Western classical musicians and I, I am offering you my version of the, mu the, the, the art and music. So. It's all about learning about each other and knowing about each other, you know, and teaching uh, to one another. You know, that, that's all life is. There is nothing else. And if, if you just live in your house and never get out and uh, listen to one kind of music and read one uh, kind of poetry and eat one uh, kind of food, you know, that's not going to be a very exciting life. Okay, thank you very much for that talk. Sure, thank you.